Hey guys, back again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out Meta Llama 3. So in the last video, I kind of went over this release. In this video, I want to go over how to install it on your machine. I'm on a MacBook Pro, um, but I only have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to be running the um, 7 billion, or I mean the 8 billion chat model. So we can see here, there's just four steps. We're going to be using Olama. So they just recently updated these uh, install instructions. So it looks like Olama is the easiest way to get set up here. Um, if we click the link here, it'll bring us to this download page where you can download for your operating system. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be using Mac. I already have it downloaded um, and installed. Uh, it'll be come in a zip file. You'll just need to move it to your applications if you're on a Mac. Uh, once you do that, you can open it up. We can see here. Um, It'll just let us download large language models on a machine and then run them. Um, if we check their website, they actually have a few different models to choose from. We're interested in uh, Llama 3 for this video, and we can see it does have quite a few pulls, uh, 350K already, which is pretty good. So we're going to download this now. Uh, in here it says the 8 billion chat model should be uh, just about four or five gigabytes so we're going to need to click install enter your password and then once it's done installing we can see this command here to uh, run one of the models that's showing llama 2 so we basically just need to update that to llama 3. Um, we can see here down in the second step we first have to pull the model so we're going to run o llama pull llama 3 and that's going to download the uh, 8 billion chat model already quantized and it's about 4.7 gigabytes it looks like. So I'm going to do that uh, right now. It might take a little bit of time to finish. Um, I'll start it now and then once it's done I'll be back and we'll go over how to use it in our Python. Okay there we go it's finished downloading. It didn't take too long. Um, it's only 4.7 gigabytes again. Um, now that we have it downloaded we can run the model and again this is the uh, 8 billion chat model that we're going to be using so if we run Ola or if we put in the command olama run llama 3 that should start up the model we can see here it's loading so let's let that uh, start up here and then we can see here um, there's a prompt send a message so now we can ask a question let's just say how old is the earth Okay, according to scientific estimates, the Earth is approximately 4.54 billion years old. Okay, so that's cool. So it answered us pretty quick here. Um, we're just doing this in the command line, but they do have options and um, a tutorial section on how to set up Llama 3 with your Python script and then also Langchain. So first, let's go over the Python one. Oh, and actually, before we set up the Python version, we can also run this in our command line here. So um, we can use this curl command to hit this localhost uh, endpoint. And then we're going to pass in the model and a message. Um, so we'll just paste this in our terminal. So there's the endpoint, the llama3 model, and the contents. And then the only thing you'll need to um, have to make sure this curl command works is you just want to make sure llama3 is still running. Um, it doesn't need to be still running in the command line, just make sure it's still um, showing up in the toolbar, as you can see in my Mac. So after we run this curl command, we'll see the answer here. Um, so we can see the role, assistance, and then the novel, The Godfather, was written by Mario Puzo. Uh, the book was published in 1969 and has since become a classic of American literature. So that's how we can use a curl command here. Okay, now to run this locally with Python, I have a blank Python page here. Um, we can just copy this whole script just to get started. Uh, we'll paste that in there, and then we'll just paste the last two lines here at the bottom. So this is just a, a Llama 3 function. Basically, we're just going to pass in the model, the message, uh, headers, and then we're going to get a response and print that response out. So we're going to do this easier with Langchain in a second, but uh, let's just start with this. So we'll need to run this. And as we can see, uh, we forgot to install requests. So let's just do 
first we'll set up an environment and then we can install requests in that environment and run everything there. We'll use that same environment to install Langchain later on. So first let's just install requests here. This should be pretty quick. And then now if we run this again, uh, it should ask the same question that we used in the curl command. So who wrote the book Godfather? So we'll just take a few seconds. And there we go. Um, we got our answer again uh, with that same question. So if we uh, check here, it says, the novel The Godfather was written by Mario Puzo, an American author of Italian descent. The book was first published in 1969 and has since become a bestseller. So there we got pretty much the same answer as before. So now um, if, if we wanna do all this with Langchain, uh, we can scroll down to the bottom here We'll have to um, install Langchain with pip again. So just copy and paste this, open up the terminal again, paste that and hit enter. Should just take a few seconds to complete. We'll let this finish. Okay, once that's finished, we'll copy this code down here. This is gonna basically replace all of this code that we had in here from our previous script. So there we go, um, we're gonna import from Langchain. We're gonna set up our large language model with our Llama 3 model. We can edit our temperature, we're just gonna have it set to zero here. And then we're gonna have a response by invoking our large language model with the same question we've been using in the last two runs. So who wrote the book Godfather? And then we can just print the response content here. So again, this is just all uh, these four lines basically is the same as uh, the previous script we ran. So if we run this, it should take a similar amount of time here. And there we go. We have another answer. So the novel The Godfather was written by Mario Puzo, an American author of Italian descent. The book was published in 1969 and has since become a classic of modern literature. So there we go. So right here, it says you can try running the 7 billion or the 70 billion llama model but inference speed will likely be too slow. Um, it takes over 10 seconds to generate one token on a 32 gigabyte RAM machine. Uh, the model we just ran only takes 10 seconds per, or I mean 10 tokens per second. So anyway, if you wanna run the 70 billion model, you're gonna need a little bit stronger machine to run that, but you can go ahead and try it. So anyway, I'll leave a link to this GitHub in the description. Uh, this is super easy to set up following these instructions.